We are in Appledore and this is where we finished off, I think it was last week. Um, so this is going around to the sort of shipping yard around here. And I think um, at some point the, the southwest coast path, there we are, we're on it now, um, joins on to the Tarka, I think. But we're going from Appledore to Biddeford. It's going to be a good walk. And I've got little Peggy and the two little puppies with us. It's not going to be a long walk, but it'll be a good walk. And the weather is looking fine. And before you know it, we're at the water's edge. How lovely is this? Oh, the sun's coming out as well. Beautiful. These are the little things I really enjoy when I'm on the southwest coast path. Just little places that you don't really know, but no one would really know about. Look, in front of houses is there. We've got a private little beach. It's lovely. And guess what? Poppy's in the water already, with the puppies following. <laughs> Just walking past the old shipyards now. Look at that ship there. Look how old that is. I mean, that's just, well, it's an old boat really, not ship, but it's been sat there for a few years. Can't get over the weather today though. It's been fantastic. It's crazy to think that this, this is part of the Southwest Coast Path, but what we're doing today is linking all the little bits up that we have done. So, a lot of this today will probably be sort of what we call lanes and maybe through towns and things, but it links all up. But yes, this is the Southwest Coast Path. And that is a van driving past me. It's fairly quiet apart from that. <laughs> and weather still fantastic. Path now is going through a little woodland. Still on the uh, Southwest Coast Path and it's saying two and a half miles to, um, oh there's Peggy watering the garden. Nice, as always when I get on camera. Two and a half miles to Biddeford. So, not too far of a walk there and back. I'm going to say we got our first tree down, but it's more of a bush. So, we just sort of got to go a little. Oh! <laughs> just got to go. Here's me sliding all over the place. There we go. Ah, yep. There we go, and we're down. Not too much of a hedge, but I made a big job of it. Bit muddy, but nothing major. Walked along this um, wooden raised path there for us. And then we come out to the other side of the shipyard. And yes, they're straight down on to the water. God, that's a few old rotten boats there. God, it's just deserted. Wow, well, they're having fun. Isn't that lovely? And we're walking this way now. Coats are off now because it's just so hot. Path now takes us along the side of someone's house. But look at this beach here. The tree down and, and the beach. Beautiful. It's stunning. Just got to watch underfoot. It's a bit wet, a bit muddy in places. But this, look at them. They love that grass. Nuts. Very. It looks like you're in a little private uh, beach. Lovely on the beach now and this is the tree that's come down. Isn't that lovely? Even when things are, I suppose you could say, broken in creation, it looks beautiful. It goes to show the power of the creator. It's just lovely. Breathtaking. Makes you feel good just to be here. This is definitely a, a lot prettier of a walk than we thought. A lot of woodlands, which we love. So do the dogs. And near the water as well, all the time, which is lovely. Oh, look at them trying to get up there, bless them. Not that big enough, guys, are you yet? Let's use the steps, be clever. But lovely, lovely woodland walk. As you can see, this path is definitely arduous. <laughs> and uh, nearly gone over a few times, but not yet. We're going to plan once we get to Biddeford, have some lunch and then try and find our way back on a footpath. Because this is the Southwest Coast Path and I do want to oh, complete it properly, but it's not that fun walking in this really. It's kind of a chore sometimes. We'll get through it. Someone's just got a huge house as we've come out to this driveway and you probably can't see it, but a beautiful big pond there as well. Absolutely beautiful. 
with old lanterns going up the drive. Really pretty. Probably cost about £50 or more. That has quite a few doubloons. And I think we're almost getting into Biddeford, so it's not too long a walk. Definitely going to look for some little footpaths or lanes on the way back, try and get round the, uh, the muddy uh, paths. But the sun is glorious. This walks past some real big houses. I mean, these are pretty big, but the other ones were super big and they've got their own moorings here. Look at that. I think I'm going to put a post it on one of these if I may. Look at that. It's not bad, is it? Not a bad place to live. So we're coming through a little housing estate now, right by the water. As you can see, we've gone under that bridge now. And that must be Biddeford ahead. Sue reminds me we came here before and had a cheese toasty, so we might go to the same place. And it's hot. And it is really hot, yeah. We're almost considering getting down to our t-shirts it's that hot at the moment. But what a beautiful day to be walking. Here we are, made it to Biddeford. We have been to Biddeford before because I had to get some stuff at a charity shop. But, uh, yeah, that's another link done in the Southwest Coast Path. We are getting there. Definitely three quarters of the way around now. But what a little, pretty little town. Quite nice. Got the steps here, you can have your sandwiches. Just watch the world go by. We've ordered a couple of coats and we've got a jacket, potato, cheese and beans and a pasty to share. We're just feeding the dogs. They've had a drink, they're just eating their food. So they're well and truly fed up. They're eating before us. It's not a bad little uh, view there. Can't quite see the water, but you can watch the traffic go by. And we're in the sun, so it'll do. So we got a jack potato salad, and I've got a steak pasty, which we're gonna chop up and share. Very nice, and the lady that served us is gonna bring out some treats for the dogs. How nice is that? And the sun is beautiful. I don't think I've said it enough today. I love the weather when it's like this. I live for days like this, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. We've had our lunch. We're well and truly stuffed, and now we're gonna walk. Sue reckons she's found a different walk back, so we're gonna try it. Hopefully, it'll be like this, and not muddy. We shall see. So far the walk back, very pleasant, dry. Coming past some big houses now. But the floor, oh, it's dry. And we're going downhill as well, even better. So we're coming across some dragon's teeth now, which are like anti-tank, I think. But definitely old. You have to wonder, would anyone come down here? Maybe it just looked a lot different back then. Coming to this big open field now. And there's a meadow that we just walked through, but it's quite an incline. It's going up. Definitely going up. These dogs are playing like they're not even on a hill. <laughs> oh, and here comes the old station, sort them all out. <laughs> Coming through a bit of a narrow footpath here. Got breathing a little bit. But it's been dry underfoot, so that's good. Probably going to come in to a few houses now, but maybe only a mile or so from the car. Not too far. Oh, this is, it feels even narrower. Yep, coming out to a little house and estate now, so put the dogs on the lead. Well, as you can see, this is the longest the puppies have ever walked, and they're absolutely full of energy. It's crazy. What are we on now, Sue? Seven miles? Six miles? Six, seven miles, and they're just still playing. Like it's, like they've only done half a mile, I don't know. Amazing amount of energy, these puppies. They'll sleep on the way home now. That's the good thing. And hopefully tonight. <laughs> We are pretty much on the path that we started on this morning. So we're probably less than half a mile from the car. And we're thinking to ourselves, hmm, maybe a cup of tea and a piece of cake. We haven't really gone into Appledore. We sort of got to the outskirts. So we're going to have a little, um, oh, I'm going past the path. It's that way. We're going to have a cup of tea. I'm, I was getting so excited about a cup of tea and a piece of cake. So we're going to go this way back to the car and then have a walk to a cafe. Almost back to where it all began. Almost back to the car. That's the old boat, or I can call it a boat. It's almost falling, falling apart. 
and we're going past the old uh, boat uh, building, old buildings there as well. I guess they still build boats now, I don't know. But we're not very far from the car now at all. And we've done it, we're back. Almost back anyway. There's the old uh, Apple door sign. And here's, here's the car, about eight miles. Now, drop off the bag, cup of tea, slice of cake. So we decided to have half of each. So we got a chocolate chip shortbread, a bag of tart, and a pot of tea for two. Not a bad view either. We can see the water from here. 